Hello there. Right, I'm going fishing, obviously, because it's a fishing video. <laughs> um, yeah, could have guessed that. But uh, I'm going to Bumaris on low water. The time is now, it's about, well, it's not about, it's 10 past six. Low water is about eight o'clock. By the time I've got my gear from the van, the caravan, and um, gone back there, probably going to fish an hour down, fish the low water, then an hour up. Um, it's only a short session, but it only takes one bite, doesn't it? It does only take one bite. So, um, a bit sunburnt today, a bit warm. And I had a little walk across the beach earlier for half hour. It's blazing down, you can see it's like sizzling, sizzling up. But yeah, target is, be nice to catch a big hoss, a big hoss. Um, I might put a rod out with smaller baits on, little bits of squid, little bits of crab, little bits of worm, and um, see what's out there. Cause every time I fish um, Bew Maris, I always just put half a mackerel out. And I've got no mackerel anyway. And um, I'm gonna go and have a couple of chucks um, and see what happens. But yeah, target will be horse, but you literally could pick anything up there. Some big rays there. There's the tope run through there. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go freestyle. Spare at a moment. I've got, what have I got for tea tonight? I've got a hamburger. I had half an hamburger earlier. I'm gonna have, well, there's probably about a quarter of a baguette left. That'll do. So yeah, that's it. We're gonna get down there. Um, view Maris, we're gonna fish it down. Uh, it should be a beautiful evening though. I'm just looking now, just gonna pass Conway on that now. Should really have a walk down there and show you the beautiful views. Might show you a quick fishing spot on the way, um, which is where I sent some bass jumping the other week, some big bass. Um, but yeah, let's go on the road and um, let's make it happen, yeah. So this is where I wanted to show you people, right by Conway Castle. Now we see big bass jumping here. There's a little beach here and nobody's on it. Fish is on low or high tide, but the flow can be horrendous. It's a nice little beach. You want to watch you don't get backed up on I as well, because on a good tide it can. That little beach there is a gold mine. But yeah, stunning place. Just thought I'd call and show you this. Look at that. Look at that for a place. Right. Car's there. We need to move. Let's get to Bumaris. Well, caravan first, then Bumaris. I don't even know what bait I got. We're going to make it work, though, because this is one of them. Ching! Spare the moment ones. Oh! We're rocking and rolling. I'm gonna make it work. Sun in my eye. But yeah, um, no time to waste. Back in the car, let's go. So nearly at my caravan now, ready to get the stuff, the fishing gear, but thought that this view would have to be shared. We're gonna be doing a lot of lure fishing down here in the summer, because it is a lure hot spot. And it's not a secret, because there's loads of videos all over YouTube before anybody goes, nah, 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 he's telling them the hot spots and where the marks are. Just look on YouTube, there's loads. You can see the bridges in at least 10 different videos. So don't be hating on me, people. That's where I got the info from. <laughs> but yeah, you got a house there. Look at that house down there. Imagine living there. Fisherman's dream, yeah? Got anybody's dream. That'd do me, that would. Out of the way of everybody else. But yeah, so we'll pan out, boom. And look at that. We're going to carry on on our journey. So we're fishing about, oh, about four mile past the bridge down the Menai, somewhere over there. So yeah, let's get on with it. But just thought this stunning place needed to be shared. Look at the mountains in the background. Let's get on our journey then. Let's get on our journey. The uh, rods I'm running tonight are. And prevails. Look the grips on these. Proper nice rods to be fair. Cut the shrink wrap. We're running two Shimano Beastmasters. Proper bits of kit them. Um, but yeah, I love these rods. Can't beat the pen and the bait. What bait we're using? I don't even know what I've got in here, you know. Just blew the gas with my um, thing, but luckily this one's electric. Here we go. Oh, you're gonna have to take that, aren't we? You know what, them crab are for a session on the weekend, but I don't really want to take them crab because I could be on some smooth ends the weekend. So these, even though the mics, <laughs> I'm lucky Mike, and bits of crab are going back in. So them couple of crab there could be a couple of smooth ends. Squid is frozen solid, what else have we got? Sardine fillets. We'll take half of them as well. I'll put half of them in. So yeah, we've got some sardines. 
froze. I'm gonna take the little fill I one fillet or two. It looks too large, so I'd maybe stubble fill it. Take a couple of them. Don't know how good they are, but these are literally like £2.49 a bag from a local um wholesaler. Head, <laughs> mermaid food land, doesn't know. And they're mackerel fillets. Because we're after the hus, that bit of fishiness there should be enough for tonight. So we get this back in there. I need to fill that up. I need to get loads of I need somebody to come worm sucking, worm pumping, lug pumping, whatever, and get it done. I'm ready to rock and roll now. So we're gonna grab some gear, get it in the car, we're gonna go. Let's move. Right then, it's all going down here, we're in a rush. I'm driving on the go. Um just come back to the caravan to the caravan. My big gas bottles run out. I knew it was low, but I didn't think it ran out that big one there. Uh, because I had some damp in the uh, socket to the fridge, um, I've been running the fridge on gas. It's just defrosted all my food. I ain't been here for the last three nights, so um, food's all <laughs> all warm in the fridge. But there weren't a lot in there, and there's only a couple of bits in the freezer and that. So um, luckily, the bike freezer outside is run on electric, so I ain't lost any of the bite, which is good. So I've been fuming if I lost the bite. So yeah, I've got to sort that out. I'll get some gas, but. That's put me behind because I was fiddling about with the electrics and that. It's better, isn't it? Oh, fresco. Fiddling about with the electrics and that. And um, it's all working again now. But yeah, we're going to shoot down to be Maris. Or Bo Morris, whatever you call it. It's nearly low tide now. I've done it again. I've done it again. I'm turning up late. I should be there. Or I should have been there. About. Time me on now. Let me just have a look. Excuse me. I can't even look on the phone. Seven... 49 now, so 10 to 8. I should have been there half 6, 7, fishing it down. What can you do, people? What can you do? Can't have a shot over as well, is it, she? Um, but anyway. What I've got, I've still got two of these biscuits left. These posh ones. Posh biscuits. I have them. Guess who's back? Right, the tide should be a bit lower now. Sliding. You can see an Attica slowing its slide. I mean, the wheel does nothing. Look at that. Not a thing, you just slide in for that. Once you're here, it's a bit hard. Once you get down, it's a bit softer. Excuse the pun. Right, the tide is running now. I just seat that off. But yeah, I wouldn't never, I always say it, and I know I always say it, but I'll never advise anybody to drive onto the beach. So I'm going to leave my car. I'm probably going to leave the car here somewhere. I'm not going to drive all the way down to the water's edge. I'm going to do a turn here and leave it here. Because um, it can get a little bit softer down there. I know it's all right, but it can get up a little bit softer. Just got to know what you're doing, you know what I mean? Know how to get out, know what to do. You know, I'll never advise anybody to drive onto a beach like this, ever, anytime, anywhere, because it can be so bloody dangerous. But if you know the beach, it's totally different. And I know the beach. So it backfills behind there, and your car can go, Tadio! I'm going to turn this round now and get the stuff out. See you in a bit. Let's do it. Car's there. Do a bit of a turn. I've got to be careful because the tide falls back in behind, but I'll know where I'm, where I'm good, you know what I mean? Oh, look at them views. Look at them views. Look at them views. And there's Clan Dindo. Right, let's start fishing. Mike said there was a lot of weed in the Menai the other day. I could have issues. Big issues. Big issue. Stop it. So, yeah. But, there's some big fish in here. Some massive fish in here. And the car's over there. So, I'm going to have an hour. Get the tripod on. Get it set up. Let's roll. Guess what I forgot? Definitely caught the sun a bit. I have around there. It's a little bit, um, shows off my best side. <laughs> I've uh, forgot my tripod to put the phone on. And on that tripod is, um, my light for filming in the dark. It's got no tripod and no light, but we'll make it work. Don't know how yet. We'll make it work. Really don't know how. Right, I'm gonna get these rods set up now. I'm here now. I'm just literally sat in the car here. Um, and spend the next 10 or 15 minutes getting the rods set up. Because I don't think I've got any rigs. I'll show you the rigs when they're on the rods. We're just gonna use runners, I think. Runners with a big hook and be simple. Hook it straight for the fish's mouth and bang, get in. Nothing finesse about this. The big fish, they're not fussy. Like, if they find the bait, they're just going to snuffle it. <laughs> Bang, get down. <laughs> um, that's how I've got it. I forgot that tripod. Not the fishing tripod to put the rods on. I forgot it. What can you do? 
wonder if I'm meant to be coming fishing. It happened. It happens, doesn't it? This, these things happen. So, have a little bit of milk. So, a little bit of milk. We can make it for the night. Yeah, let's get out here. Look at that. Nice sunset over the bank behind as well. <laughs> you, can, you can see the sunset because it's behind the bank. What I'm going to show you is that. Nice, yeah. So I'm going to cut you off now and I'm going to spend the next, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes getting set up, getting bites defrosted, getting rigs on. And I'll get back to you when I'm ready to put that fish into the water. Right? Oh, my bait is still frozen, solid, everything. So, what we're going to do, take this out of off. Maybe over then. How was that? that big dirty mofo there. I'm going to take this down to the water. So I need to be fishing from now. We're going to get some water in here. Oh, I should have done with my wellies as well. It's all going wrong. <laughs> it's all going wrong. So we're on the mussel bed though, yeah? So we're here. Well, that water's crystal clear. Crystal clear. Wow. It's not really good, to be honest. Let's get some water in there. Get some water in there. What that'll do now, that'll help that bite to defrost quicker. I say this was a spare at the moment thing, but that bite should defrost a lot quicker now. A hell of a lot quicker, boy. Watch me freeze the water up and get it all wrung. But yeah, we've got no rigs tied. Well, we have got one rig tied. I've just put a big pulley on there. I'm uh, just gonna get some other rigs tied up now. We got in here, we're gonna knock something off. We'll get it working, we'll get it rocking and rolling one way or another. And um Yeah, we should we should get something going. It's just beautiful, isn't it? There goes Mr. Comrade look. It's just nice, isn't it? The Ferris wheel there. Me and Mikey was on that wheel the other day. That was a good laugh. Or not a laugh. <laughs> Okay, got the tripod there. Um, fishing within the next, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. Get, let that bite defrost a bit in the water. And what you got here, obviously on high water, it goes all the way up to there, so you've got this beachy bit. You can, you can still fish over it, but it can get, be a bit snaggy and whatever. You can fish from there on high down onto here. You've got a lot of fish feeding over these mussels. A lot of fish. But on low water, like the channel that comes straight through the menai, you've got bang up here there. Can you see bang up here? Can you see it? So it comes straight through. And you get this little deep channel on low, and it's still going to go down a little bit. It's only on a big tide that you see in the muddy bits. Because you normally just see like the, the stones and the mussels. When it's a big tide, you know when it's a big tide, because you start to get into this stuff. It's like sludgy, muddy, sandy stuff, and that's when you know it's a big one. Well, we've got no camera tripod, so I think we're going to set it up on there. So what we're going to do, I think, See my tripod down there? I think we're gonna set the camera up on here so you can see the rods from there, there. Granted, it's not the best of clips, it's not the best of angles. In all fairness, it's absolutely shit, but <laughs> I ain't got nothing else I can do. Um, and yeah, we're gonna, um, well, I've got both rods set up now. One's got, a, I'll show you the rigs in a minute. One's got a big pulley panel on. The other's got a big runner on with a double lock. So it's like a, a panel runner. I suppose you could call it. We've got it improvised. We've not got the tripod and I've got the light in. I'll show you the rigs in a minute. But out there, I know this big bull hus. But we take dogfish, we take a white. We're not going to catch a white in. We're not going to catch a small dogfish. We're fishing. Well, you see the bites in a minute. We're fishing big. We're not, we're not here for little fish. But, I don't know if you can see down there now. My mate Mike from That's a Bite fished this a couple of days ago, the Menai. And he said it's extremely weedy. Um, he's getting wiped out every cast. I can see debris drifting down there. And I can see all around here the weed. So we could be in trouble. Could. Probably will be in trouble. <laughs> Not going to lie, we probably will be. Yeah, there's loads of weed. I'll, I'll flip the camera around now and I'll show you the weed I'm on about. This is the type of thing I'm on about. There's just absolutely loads. And once that hits your light in this current, it's absolutely carnage. It's just getting to low water now, so the current's actually not that bad. This current will start um, flowing soon, like you never believe. It will absolutely start going. <laughs> so I've got to start rambling, 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 rambling. But you know what I say? Let's be in the right spot for the right amount of time. That's why I'm not rushing, because I know as soon as it gets dark and that tide turns, I know once I've got the rods in for 10 minutes, something will happen. So you just.
just know your water sometimes, don't you? You just know. You just know. You just know. See you in a bit. Here we go, people. I'm about, it's about an hour after you last seen me. I've been talking to um, some guy about crabs and other stuff like that, and I've literally lost track of time. So, yeah. We're going to put mackerel fillet on the left rod. On. A simple run out, and I've really got not got much time now, because if you can see... My uh, rock has turned already, but I've had a really good chat with somebody and it's more important than fishing. We've got sardine and mackerel fillet wrap there. That's just on a pulley. Um, so yeah, without further ado, we're gonna get these rods in now. Because I've literally got, uh, I've left myself for about half an hour, 45 minutes of fishing all night, which is not good, but I've learned so much tonight from somebody who fishes local. Uh, I'm not gonna say who, where or what, but yeah. Absolute legend, buddy. Thank you so much. And uh, let's see if we can get a fish. And I am going to put a peel of crab on next or softly. So I've just got my hands on the couple. So yeah, adios. Let's get some fish. Literally got about half hour. This, <laughs> this is how one really is. I've got to get down on one knee to propose to all my subscribers. Will you subscribe to me? No, you're already subscribed. To all the non-subscribers, will you subscribe to me? Right, let's go. I'm being silly. Let's go. Right, the rods are in now. I don't quite know what you can see because, as I say, the um, the recording setup here is my phone resting against a six-ounce gripper lead in the side tray of a Shakespeare box. It's called improvising. Actually, if we get one, you know, I was just talking to somebody. Uh, I've just um, he's just given me a, some peeler crab and stuff showed me a few bits i'm not going to say who what when or where but um thank you so much thank you so much we might put a big peeler on next because there are smooth hounds running through here now and big bass it's exciting you know i hope you can see them rods the way i've set this up i really hope you can Come on, I don't know what you've seen because I've just had a phone call. But the rods have been in about 10 seconds and I've had a fish already. Um, yeah, so yeah, 10 seconds, well, 10, 20 seconds fishing, the rod's gone over. Yes, it's only a doggy. Is it a doggy? It's a doggy. Is it? Yeah. So we're going to get this one back in and we're going to go again because there could be some fish tonight. Let's go! Right, don't know what you can see. Carnage. Right, let me fill you in because I don't know what you've seen on this footage. But generally, I have no idea. Mike rung me earlier when I had the doggy on and he cut off, so I might have lost some footage. Thanks, Mike. That's a bite. And I was just on the phone to Mike, talking to my phone, and the rod with a big macro fillet on has just gone bang, bang, bang. And I've had something on big and I've lost it halfway in. So now I'm going to put my phone on aeroplane mode so I can't be contacted again. Because Mike has, um, you've cost me tonight, Mike. <laughs> you know, I love you really. That's how it is. But yeah, um, that was a big fish. Right. <sighs> What's going on? Right, I'm going to get these rods both back out quick. I'm going to get the phone. I'm not on the tripod on the tackle box. This is what I'm filming from. My phone is resting, yeah. See that grip I led there? That one? It's resting on there and then filming there. That, that is my tripod tonight. I'm excited. I've lost a big fish. I don't know what you're going to see. And I've had a doggy and I've been fishing about four minutes. So I've got to move. I've got to be quick. I'll catch you all soon. Woohoo! Voila! Some distance that chav is. Bite, 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 bite! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Bite on both rods! Bite on both rods!
that fish just bumped right at the end. Probably only a dogfish, it wasn't big. Definitely a fish on. Oh, why is this place fishing so good? Why have I not, not given myself enough time? Sorry about the footage, people. I've missed so much. Oh, we've got a bite on that rod now. I've got to go, I've got to go, I've got to go. One more bounce, one more bounce. Can't even film it, people. I'm trying to film it. I need a camera person with me tonight. This is so hard. Ah! I'm so sorry how much of this filming is. I've not got the tripod. Look, look, this is my trainer at the moment, look. Soak through, my socks are wet. I've had to go in the water. It's been absolutely horrendous. Um, the tide's coming in, but we've lost a couple of big fish and it's kicking off. I really, really need a camera person. <laughs> but yeah. Hey, easy bugger, easy you little wriggler. <laughs> As Mike would say, wibble wobble, wibble wobble. Yeah, what's that whiting? Big whiting, isn't it? I'm gonna put this out now. Some gentleman sorted me out with some grub. Big softy, that is. Like me, a big softy. <laughs> um, that's good. Both rods are out of the water again. I can't keep them in. I should have been here earlier. I've messed up. The tide now is about 10 meter off the car. Once it starts to get up to here, I'm off. I'm gonna start the car now, so it gives me plenty notice in advance. That's another tip, people. Don't wait till the water's there before you try and start your car. Make sure your car is running, so you can just go, pss, 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 get out of here. We're gonna chuck it. Um, the crab bait in on the left rod. I'm going to try and film it. I'm sorry, it has been absolute carnage. If I'd have had a camera person tonight, you'd have seen the big fish I lost, you'd have seen everything. It's just been like phew, nuts. I need to um, work out what I need to do. So I've got like 10 seconds, 15 seconds now to talk to you, and I'm fishing again because that's how rushed it is. And we're going to put a big mackerel fillet out on the right rod. We're going to put them back in. I might set the tripod, I might set the um, phone up on the bonnet. And we'll film, but yeah, it's been epic. I don't think since I've been here, a rod has been in the water more than three minutes before it's gone bump. So yeah, we live for these days. We live for these days. Just hope I can get you a whacker. But I don't mind, because it's been good anyway. I don't mind. But it could get better. You could get better. Let's go. Let's roll. So we've got crab boat on one. I'm just going to put this full sardine in. You can tell times are rushed. I can't even get the bait elastic off the hooks on the back end. It's just literally send it out. Let's roll. Let's go. Let's rock and roll. Let's give, give, give us a bite now. Come on. That's on the crab bait, that is. No way. No way. I just said give us a bite now. I can't even record this. I'm so sorry, people. I can't record this. I'm going to have to drop the phone if it goes again. I just said give us a bite and it's just gone. What are the chances of that? I've got to go. Well, we just had this other doggy. There's a bite on the other rod. As I say, I'm sorry I can't show you what I need to show you people. The bite on the bass rod, well not the bass rod, the bite on the um, peeler crab earlier evolved into nothing, but it's just been constant. And I'm trying to bait up, film, do stuff, and then watch two rods at the same time. And I just can't do it. Don't go into a ball, mate. That's what that's the defense that is. He'll make his way. Come on, mate. Come on, you go, buddy. Keep on a bite on the other rod again. You go, buddy. Go, 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 go. Be free. Right, let's go. Man, it's been carnage. It's so awkward on your own. Like, if Mike was here, I wouldn't have missed that fish because he wouldn't have wronged me. But if Mike was here, he would do half the filming and help. And, um, Pretty much carnage. I definitely lost a huss earlier, a big one. I've had a bite on the bass rod or the smoothie rod because somebody told me smoothies come out over there earlier. Um, it's all going off. I'm just can't. I don't know whether to film fish, whatever. I've got to run out the water now. A rod out up at the back of the car. And do I set it back up or do I film or do I. It's a two man job. <laughs> Help me! I'll get you what I can, though, people. I'll get you on a camera. You're gonna get that other rod back in because that tide is getting pretty close to the car now. And I've just started the car to see if it starts and everything so we're not stuck. It's creeping up, so we've uh, got to be out of here soon. Got to be out. Got to be out of here soon. Got a tractor going up beach. Tractor going up beach. Well, that's it, people. I don't even know if you can see me. I hope that's pretty clear. Um, the water now is there. The car is here, so I'm about. To go. Four, five meters off the car with a water so I'm gonna get out of here um, it's no good filming on your own 
I, as I say, when Mike's here, I do miss you, Mike. I miss you, Mike. <laughs> but uh, it's like, you know, when you get that bite, you need someone to like grab the camera, and, like, got it, action, <laughs> packed. Like, couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. So I'm off now. The water is there. I'm creeping up really, really, really fast. And I am here. 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 The car is here. Um, yeah, it was uh, pretty awkward to film tonight, to be fair. I forgot the tripod and the light, which was the first mistake, so I could have just left it rolling and filmed everything and lit it up. But it's real. It's real. It's real. It is real. Yeah, so um, like, comment, and subscribe and all that. See you all in the next video. Bye-bye.